Hey, Oilers fans, welcome to Oilers TV. Joined right now by Tony Brar, and of course, some exciting news coming down from Edmonton this morning. A one-year contract extension through the 2020-21 season for Swiss center Gaetan Haas, who joins us for an exclusive interview. First off, congratulations. Exciting morning for you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it was a nice day today for me. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we know you're joining us from Switzerland. So first off, we've got to start with what's going on right now. People are getting creative in isolation. How's it going for you? Um, pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm with my family here, so uh, just uh, just uh, how you say, like uh, enjoy the weather. Uh, it's pretty nice weather here, and go out uh, see uh, like we got a garden here, so just spend some time outside and see uh, my yeah my parents uh, brother sister so yeah it's nice time right now i know from your instagram story you were doing some uh, toilet paper stick handling <laughs> have you been perfecting that have you got a new trick up your sleeve what have you been working on uh yeah that was tony like i see him like <laughs> doing some tricks but <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, I let the, the stick on side right now, but uh, because I just uh, got a surgery on my finger yesterday. But uh, yeah, I would try to, to, to do some stuff after that. Well, there's a fun question floating around in some of our alumni interviews, so we thought we'd put you on the spot. If you had to be stuck in isolation with one current teammate, who would it be and why? Um, I don't know. Pretty hard question, but <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, maybe Nygaard. Like okay. we were your uh, roomie together this year, and uh, we got a fun time. Uh, a lot of uh, room service. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I was gonna say, who cooks out of you two? Yeah, no, it's room service. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that's great. Obviously, uh, one of the challenges uh, Gaetan right now is is uh, you know getting into routines and and sticking with the routines. But speaking of your routine, how have you been working out and staying in game shape the, in to the best of your abilities? Yeah, I mean you you try to yeah to go run or go inline, uh, do some stuff in uh, in the garden. But uh, yeah, without a uh, uh, workout room it's pretty hard but uh, yeah just try to stay in shape and do stay active and and hope everything's gonna get better soon I know you also mentioned your your surgery on your finger maybe take us through that process and how long that's been in the works uh, yeah actually I just uh, get a surgery last year in playoffs broke my finger and put a a, bl a blade inside and um yeah the, the doc say like i have to take it away after six or six months or one year so it was right the the right time right now uh to to do it uh, and take the blade away and uh, yeah we like uh we we, we can do a surgery after our 27 this month uh, in switzerland before you couldn't do it so so we just uh take contact with the doctor uh in Edmonton, coach, uh, coaching staff, and uh, yeah, that was okay for them. So we just uh, did that uh, yesterday, and, and now I just yeah, just happy to to do to do that. And now I'm 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 pretty free, uh, no blades <laughs> anymore. So so How yeah, I can uh, start to to just work on my finger and then uh, yeah, come back. How long is the healing process for a full recovery on the finger? Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, probably just uh, the, the, the cut uh, hill and um, yeah, I don't know, would be like probably like two or three weeks, but uh, yeah, I mean, should, shouldn't be a problem to, to come back and play. Well, it's obviously been an exciting week for you, uh, signing a one-year contract on Tuesday with the Edmonton Oilers to stay in oil country. Just maybe take us through the contract negotiations and how it all unfolded. Were you guys talking during the season? and? What kind of led led to that? Um, yeah, I think uh, everything goes pretty quick. Um, my agents just told me that uh, 
uh, the artists have interest to to keep me, and uh, for me it was like uh, pretty yeah pretty sure that I wouldn't change team. I was uh, yeah I got a good feeling there, and I uh, feel good in the team, and just wanna yeah try to to bring something uh, in the team uh, in the next uh, year. So so it was pretty easy to 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 sign, and uh, yeah I just have a couple uh, discussion with the. Uh, with tip and uh yeah then with the agents just yeah to know a little bit what's the plan and um yeah everything went good and pretty quick so that's that's why i'm signed and i'm pretty happy to to be back in edmonton what are you most excited about for spending another year in in edmonton i think we just have a good great year right now so we want to finish it uh, like we start and uh, I think like, yeah, we get like good group and uh, everybody want to make something special with, with this team, with this, uh, with this city. And it's a special, uh, special uh, team. So uh, with a lot of history, so you want to bring it back. And I think that's the goal for, from everybody. We're coming up on your first year completing in the NHL and, and in North America coming up in July. What do you think so far? What What do you reflect on when you look back at, you know, coming in in July and your first experience in your first year? Yeah, it was a, a lot of new stuff. Uh, everything was new. Uh, I never went uh, far away from my uh, hometown, so that was a pretty big trip. Um, yeah, I mean, I came over, knew nobody, and just um, learn every day something and try to improve my game and. At the end of the season, I think I play almost 60 games, so that was pretty positive for me. And for sure, I want to improve my game and uh, try to, to help uh, the team a little bit more in the offense zone. But uh, I, I think my game in the D zone was pretty pretty solid. So uh, I can start with that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I try to improve every day. What was the biggest challenge overall in making adjustments to your game? um yeah for sure uh, the the ring like the ring is smaller uh, uh you don't have uh, that much uh, space uh, that much time and everything happened pretty quick and uh, yeah that's the the biggest uh, adjustment was there a part of it that you enjoyed the most in the difference i think just uh, enjoy that everything was new and try to enjoy uh, every day and uh, uh <laughs> Yeah, I mean, with twenty twenty seven, you you don't expect to 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 start in the NHL your first game. So <laughs> so that was uh yeah that was nice time and like I say, just enjoy every day and try to to take experience with me and um, yeah now I'm happy to to come back. Dayton, it seemed like as you progressed in your first season in the NHL, you continued to find your game and find a niche and a role with the Oilers organization. What adjustments did you make perhaps in the second half of the season on your game per, uh, individually that allowed you to maybe find that role? Um, yeah, you know, you just learn the game every day and uh, every day you, you get more confidence. Um, you take, a, yeah, start at, at practice, then uh, you play, have some games, then confidence is coming, then you, you know, uh, yeah, like how the game is going. Like, I mean, in in Europe, you don't have that much battle, and um, yeah, that was a not a big surprise. But uh, I knew it's gonna be hard for me to have uh, a lot more battle than in Europe, and I just tried to to figure out. And uh, at the end, yeah, as most of you play, then it's coming better and better. Now, I'm not saying that the 2019-2020 <laughs> season is over just yet because we don't know what's gonna happen moving forward, but just looking ahead to next season for a little bit, uh, obviously at the start of this season, you had a lot of things to adjust to in North America, a uh, new culture off the ice, uh, smaller rink on the ice, all, uh, so many different combinations of things. But how does coming in with experience next season help with your preparation going into year number two? Uh, yeah, you know, you just go there and you know what's going to happen. Like, Obviously, last year I came over. I I have no crew. Just came. I never had like a, a training camp with so much player. Uh, new city, new language. Uh, <laughs> sometimes still struggling with English. So, yeah, it's 
was everything new. Now I know where I go and uh, for sure it's going to help. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, confidence is doing a lot. If you have confidence, then uh, you, 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 you play better, you, you try more and uh, then uh, you don't sink every time. And uh, sorry, Gaetan, uh, you've suited up uh, on the Swiss national team on numerous occasions in the past. You have a 2018 Olympic silver medal. You have four world championships under your belt. Uh, you played in two world junior championships. What was it like to play, play against your fellow countrymen this season, guys like Roman Yossi on Nashville and Nino Niederreiter on uh, Carolina? Yeah, it was nice. Uh, I, I, they helped me a lot. Uh, I mean... They were uh, hoping to me, like, if I have questions, just text them and, yeah, then they just answer me. And Yeah, they were behind me, try to, to help me, at the, yeah, like, the most they can. And and that was a good feeling. Like, uh, you you know those guys, uh, you, you play with those guys, have a yeah, pretty good, like, world championship together. And, and now uh, they just, yeah, they were just happy for me to, to have the chance to go over and yeah it's uh i mean we have a good group in swiss team so so it's always good then to see them after the game too what were some of the things that you maybe texted them about that you needed maybe a quick hand on yeah just like how it's gonna happen i mean uh, like, like i said uh, the training camp and what's gonna come to me and uh, i went in uh in a holiday with uh, nico Hischer, so. Yeah, we talk a lot about uh, what's going to happen. And um, yeah, I came over, even if I knew a little bit, was still new. So, <laughs> so yeah, every day was uh, something new and just learn something new. And yeah, even if you know it, uh, as long as then you don't uh, leave it, it's, yeah, it's, it's new. <laughs> Well, you, you talked about the excitement of the opportunity of coming over and getting a chance to play in the NHL. How about your first goal in November versus Arizona? What was that like? And that who did you call? What was your first call afterwards? Yeah, it was special. Uh, I mean, <laughs> even me, I didn't know if I score first, but like because <laughs> I, I touched the puck, it cast uh, looks like cast two, and I didn't know. Uh, but uh, at the end, I get it. it was nice for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think my I don't remember who, but somebody from my family was there. Uh, and then after the game, for sure, we just uh, have a have a beer for that. And uh, yeah, it was a nice moment for sure. I will uh, never forget. Do you have the puck? No, I don't get it. But I think like they the others are doing something special with it. So still uh, waiting for. I mean, the the season is still not over. So I guess. Uh, they are going to take it back to uh, next year with me. <laughs> okay, Tom, that was the first of five goals this season for you. But uh, let's go to goal number five, that penalty shot in Calgary, which was uh, just a crazy game overall in the beginning of February. You did a big leg kick and went five hole on David Riddick. Is that one of your go-to moves? Did you know you were going to do that before approaching the puck at center ice? Yeah, sure. I, I knew I gonna do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was I was the guy uh, doing the shootout in Switzerland in my team, so uh, I got a lot uh, of shootouts uh, the last two years. So, yeah, yeah. so I knew this one is one of my books. So yeah, I just just went there, try it, and I was happy that he opened the leg. Well, this is a unique moment because there's a pause in the middle of the season. Do you look back on the season and look at some of the goals? Like, did you set goals coming in, or were you just rolling with the punches in your first year? Um, no, I didn't really watch a lot of hockey. Now I just enjoy enjoy the time, try to to recover the most I can, and try to to put hockey on the side to, and then just wait for what's gonna happen next. But. Right now, just uh, enjoy the time uh, back to family and, uh, yeah, like I said, just recovery. In terms of big picture, a lot of guys have not even accomplished the things that you have with an Olympic appearance, playing on the world stage, NHL, scoring your first goal. 
What's, what else is on your list aside from the obvious winning a Stanley Cup? Are there any other goals long term for your career or things you want to achieve? Um, yeah, I mean, my, my last one was playing the NHL. Now I did it. Uh, score a goal too. So, check. so for sure, yeah, it's a couple check, but <laughs> at the end you want to win. So for sure, yeah, yeah, a big goal would be win the Stanley Cup and, and maybe the the world championship too. Uh, we were second, losing shootout, so it was pretty pretty hard for for us. And still hoping uh, we can uh, do a world championship in Switzerland, even if that didn't happen this year. And and then we we can uh, yeah make something special. Well, you mentioned that you're a big room service guy. Who's cooking right now for you at home? <laughs> Oh, I I just say that uh, that that's on the road. <laughs> okay. You cook at home? Yeah, I cook at home. Yeah, like okay. I, I'm always cooking with my girlfriend. We we do that together and try to to do something good, even it's not like a big, uh, I don't know, like in the restaurant, but uh, at least it's good for us. Awesome. And what does the rest of this week look like for you? Ah, uh, you mean. Uh, Program, what are you up uh, to this week? Cooking or what? Life, whatever. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, like tomorrow I got physio for my finger and okay. uh, probably try to, to move the legs a little bit. Um, yeah, then it's uh, then it's the, the weekend. So, yeah, probably see, uh, uh, I don't know, not a lot uh, <laughs> for, but for sure I'm going to find something. Got to ask you, got to ask you, Gaetan, what's the go-to meal to cook right now? The what? What's the go-to meal? What's your favorite meal that you, you cook often? Um, I mean, if you're a Swiss guy, you, you like fondue for sure or rock oh, yeah. but Oh, yeah. But uh, I, I got a lot the last uh, couple uh, couple weeks, so right now I, I stop a little bit. <laughs> But I like to to go on barbecue, and I mean when it's nice outside, yeah, little barbecue is always good. Right on. Well, Gaetan, thanks so much for joining us. We hope uh, you and your girlfriend are staying uh, thank safe. Thank you. And yeah. uh, congratulations once again on the new one-year contract signed with the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. You as well, buddy.